Okay. Then this S equal to minus one times MC times integral ds s1 to s2 this is minus mc times integral c d tau between tau 1 to tau 2 and this is equal to minus mc square tau 1 to tau 2 so this is equal to minus 1 times the rest energy which is mc square times the eigen time uh, Matthews, 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 Matthews. Uh, this eigen time is a German word okay it's, oh, yeah. it's adopted into English and it means proper time okay which is the time measured by my own clock okay which I am having on my head okay so this is <coughs> this okay and you see that this again you come back at the same energy times time so it's all consistent all right okay very good and then we will see uh, that why is why do I have minus one here okay I have yet to justify why do I have minus one here. So, so <coughs> this is now this is uh, minus mc square uh, and now d tau is let me write it here d tau is dt upon gamma which is 1 minus beta square this is one minus v square by c square the conventional notations okay just the conventional notations and then I put it here so this is minus mc square and dt and this is ti to ts this t is not eigen time okay this is not eigen time dt times square root of 1 minus v square by c square if I call it l dt and then this is L relativistic dt, then I immediately find that, that this L relativistic is equal to minus mc square into 1 minus v square by c square to the power 1 half. Correct? This is what I would have. And now I can make a binomial expansion here. Yeah? So I make a binomial expansion. This is minus mc square into 1 minus 1 half v square by c square plus higher order terms plus higher order terms which I can neglect. And therefore this would be minus mc square uh, I, I, I can I can multiply it minus mc square first term and plus one half mc square plus order one by Plus order one by c square, right? So <coughs> now, as you know, m is a constant, c is a constant. So this term is a constant, and I have this term here. Now, if I write the again Euler-Lagrange equation of motion, so 
you see here, uh, this term would contribute zero. And therefore, equation of motion would not change whether I have this term here or I do not have this term here. Okay. And for that reason, you see that I have, I have really reproduced, if I go to the non-relativistic limit, I again get back to the same Lagrangian, which I should have one half m b square, one half m f dot square. So this, if I go to the to the uh, to the relativistic uh, non-relativistic non-relativistic limit, this should be uh, relativistic. The, it goes to non-relativistic limit which is again this is minus i mean n uh, minus mg square plus one half mg square plus other terms of order of y c square this terms can be neglected this term can be neglected and therefore i reproduced so uh, i had expected i Well, I reproduce the correct Lagrangian of the non-relativistic case that I had and therefore so this exercise I have done just to justify that I should have a minus sign here okay it is just to justify that I should have a minus sign there okay Lambert Lambert yes is the swiss um, where do I get this answer from? Oh, this one. Uh, this one. This one? Oh, this, this, this is the energy? No, I, I mean the S function in the relativistic case. Yes. Um, where do I have the idea what it should look like there? Oh, th this should actually be proportional to the length of the word line traveled by the particle. So, the, the, it, it's propagating on this. This is just the length of the word line. So, it's proportional to that. If you see, it's from the dimensions, okay? Energy into time. And if you put this, this units, dv by dt, and you put this length, they are again dimensionally the same, okay? They, they are again dimensionally the same. And if you if you put uh, <laughs> oh, uh, I I did write here. This is d tau is ds by c. So ds is c d tau. Okay. 